to sound. Okay, so here we are at the Lagaret uh, working with Mandy, and we're going to do, yay! <laughs> going to do the parade wave. We are going to do Legs Up Against the Wall, which is another one of our favorites. Now, there's many ways um, not to get into this posture, but we'd like to show you the nicest way to get in the posture. So Mandy's going to show you how to come up against the wall. So come on up against the wall, and then you're going to um, kind of squat down, sit down, and you want to get your bum as close to the wall as humanly possible. Why? Because if you don't, you're going to end up scooch, scooch, scooching the way up. So I'm going to have Mandy now lay on your right side. And now continue, there you go. That's the key right there, is continue the scooch as you lay on your right side. Then you wanna square yourself on your mat, perfect. And now she's gonna wheel those legs up like she did. Perfect, wonderful. Now here's Mandy in a beautiful legs up against the wall posture. Now, one key here is to keep a little bend in those legs. Why? Because the ancient yogis say a mystical serum is released from the heels. So when you bend your knees, you want to release the tension. Straighten your legs, lock your knees out once. Yeah, that creates more of a tension and a strain. So we want to bend the knee and kind of let the heels grip on the wall a little. <laughs> Did you hear a crack? <laughs> oh, she got a little adjustment there. <laughs> yep, and so this posture is really wonderful for restoring um, balance because how many times a day are your feet over your head? So what we're doing is just allowing that, that reversal of the blood and energy that is pooling at the feet all day to be released. So I remember when I worked at Starbucks and I would go in the back room because you're on your feet all day and I would do this for 10 or 20 minutes and it would be like a nap. It was incredible. And so you can just lie here in this posture, maybe wiggle your shoulder blades back a little bit to elongate your spine. Well, yeah, good, just get this nice long spine. Wonderful. You want your hips to be on the floor, not lifted up. If they're lifted up, it's probably because your hamstrings are too tight, so you might come away from the wall a little bit. Good. You can, again, do your arms out to the side or up above your head. You can play around with this posture. This is good a couple of times a day, one time a day, um, and as needed. It's good for neck and shoulder pain, headaches, back aches. I'm going to show you one other variation of this posture for hip tension and pain, is to bend your right knee into your chest, please. Mandy, thank you. And then you're just gonna take your right ankle and put the outside of your right ankle over your thigh, right? So your knee is here, you want it lower than that. You don't want it on the knee, good. And that might be enough for some of us and you can release your leg now and let it kind of roll forward, let that knee go toward the wall, good. And see how she slid this foot down a little bit and bent her knee? She's getting, where's the stretch at? Can you show us? In your bum and in, in that hamstring, for those of us who have a lot of hamstring tightness, good. Rock side to side really gently. Good. What does that feel like? That moves throughout the leg. Yep. So that's like a massage now. So breathing and moving and massaging in that area, that's genius right there. That can really release a hamstring. And massage it just like she's doing. Get in there, dig around, find that muscle. Don't be afraid. It's your body. Give it a massage. <laughs> Good. You can do that for like 10 or 12 breaths on that side and then switch it out for the other leg. And maybe you do this two to three times. And if you have one side tighter than the other, maybe spend more time on that side. You can release that leg up and switch it out for the other side. What do you think of this, Mandy? I love those <laughs> <laughs> So good. Times my hips and the inner thigh and the outer thigh here it gets really tense and this really opens up my hips yeah it's so nice and then that rocking side to side I always forget about it and I start I'll just start naturally doing it when I'm in the posture I'll be like oh yeah and then I'll massage the hip open it's so nice like when you rock side to side it makes it easier to release yeah it makes it easier tense. yeah it's like otherwise you tend to like tense up against the pressure and this is kind of uh, massages it out and so that good good point Beautiful, beautiful. So, and you can do these variations or you can just stay in legs up against the wall for, for 10, 15 minutes. Um, sometimes people report that they'll get tingling in the feet and that's very normal. Just bring them down for a little while and put them back up if you want. Um, the blood will rush back up. So to come out of this posture, you actually just bring the knees into chest and roll onto your right side. 
When you roll onto your right side, your heart sits a little bit off to the left and it lets your heart float up to the top so you don't compress the heart and you can breathe. Come all the way onto your right side a little bit, Mandy. And then that fetal position is just a naturally relaxing position and wait here until the blood rushes back to the legs. And that's actually really good for varicose veins. The purple in a varicose vein is because the blood is stuck there and not moving. When you release it back out and the blood comes flushing back down, it's actually really good and restorative for those veins. All right. Well, enjoy Legs Up Against the Wall, Vitpariti Karani. Thanks, Mandy. Yeah.